Why waste time in commute and spend a lot of money for IITJE coaching? Parents, do you want your kids to achieve top scores in IITJE? India's leading online need coaching 100% success IITJE. At Teen Einstein, we focus on IITJE coaching from class 6 to class 12. We think you'll like it. Our teachers are mostly PhDs in physics, maths, chemistry, botany, and zoology, with lots of years of teaching experience for class 6 to class 12. Thousands of videos, quiz, MCQs we provide a daily worksheet of 30 questions on each topic, math, physics, chemistry, and biology, for rigorous practice, concept understanding, evaluation, quiz, and thousands of videos. Limited offer 40,000 rupees per year, book your class. T9stein.com So now we will see what is uh, refraction of a plane wave using Huygens principle. So what is refraction? So when light moves from one medium to another medium, it encounters a surface which is nothing but the interface between medium 1 and medium 2. And why do we have to study about this? Because in some mediums, light travels with a different speed. Light can be faster in some medium, it can be slower compared to vacuum. So, we want to understand what happens when light falls on a medium. There are two things that happen generally. One, the light passes through the surface and goes to the next medium. Other one is where the light gets reflected and goes to the same medium again. So, in this case, we are going to consider the refraction where light falls on a surface and passes through the medium to through the medium 2 and it crosses this surface which is called the interface between medium 1 and medium 2. And here V1 is the speed of light in medium 1, V2 is the speed of light in medium 2. So this is an incident wave right. So we are uh, we have uh, represented light as rays. So this A and B are, are the wave front that is falling on the surface. If you look at the points A and B, B falls a little bit later on this point because there, there will be a delay because this falls here and this will be the time V1 T uh, tau will be the distance travelled by this wave in tau amount of time. So when the wave front A and B falls on the surface and then it passes through the surface. So if you see here, this, this angle I is the incident angle. This, it is the angle the ray of light ma uh, makes with the normal to the surface. And uh, this R is called the refraction angle, angle of refraction which is called R. Now, just by looking at this I and R, can we determine anything about the medium? Can we comment about the um, refractive index of the medium or how light travels, which in which medium the light travels faster and all? We can, consider, we can calculate based on this angles I and R. So, we will see how to do that. In this actually, the distance BC, it is the distance travelled by this wave in tau amount of time. So, distance is nothing but speed into time. So, that's why we have V1 into tau. Similarly, after moving inside, the wave takes a, a speed of V2. So, this distance AE will be V2 into tau. Now, let's look at sin i. So, where is sin i in this in this place? This is i, right? So, if this is i in this triangle, this is a right angle triangle. <coughs> So, this is a right angle triangle. So, if you want to consider sin i, we can write this as BC by AC. So, where is BC? BC is this side and AC is this side. So, opposite side by hypotenuse is nothing but sin i. Similarly, from this particular triangle here, if we write sin r, sin r is nothing but AE divided by AC. So, opposite side by, opposite side by hypotenuse. Now, Look at these two equations. We have sin i and sin r. And what happens if we divide them, uh, divide sin i by sin r? So you get sin i by sin r equal to v1 by v2. So if you look at this equation, it gives a relationship between the incident angle, refracted angle, the velocity of light in incident uh, medium, and the velocity of light in medium 2. So this is nothing but uh, 
uh, this is this leads to snell's law we will talk about this later so what happens if r is less than i so what is r here r is the angle of refraction so if the angle of refraction is less than i what does it mean the light uh, the ray actually comes closer to the normal so if r is less than i it means that the speed of light wave in the second medium is less than the speed of light wave in the first medium so from this equation if r is less than i that means this quantity is greater than this quantity so this obviously means v1 is greater than the then this uh, so the speed of light in the second medium is less than the speed of light in the first medium so if let's assume that uh, one of these mediums is okay let's assume c represents the speed of light in vacuum so what happens now uh, we know what is refractive index refractive index is nothing but the ratio of velocities of light uh, light in the different mediums so refractive index n1 is equal to c by v c is the speed of light and v1 is the velocity of light in that medium and the refractive index of medium 2 is given by c by v2 so if we re, uh, replace this equation sin i by sin r equal to v1 by v2 instead of v1 we can substitute n1 by c instead of v2 we can substitute instead of v1 we can substitute c by n1 instead of v2 we can substitute c by n2 then we will get n1 sin i equal to n2 sin r so this is nothing but snell's law of refraction so what is this uh, snell's law tell you n1 sin i equal to n2 sin r means uh, just by looking at the incident angle and the refracted angle we can comment about the ratios between the refractive indexes of the medium so sin i by sin r equal to n2 by n1 so from this equation we can calculate the refractive index of the medium or if you know the refractive index of the medium then you can calculate incident and um, refracted angle so here i have represented this as theta 1 and theta 2 so this is incident light and uh, it falls on a surface and refraction happens in this case actually theta 2 is less than theta 1 just like r is less than i where here we assumed okay so this this is snell's law now okay so the speed changes when light enters from one medium to other medium but what remains constant in this case the frequency remains constant because frequency is nothing but the number of waves per unit time so the number of waves that are coming here also is the same here the same number of waves are entering here there is no delay in in uh, in, in there is no no factor that changes how many number of waves you get per second so the frequency does not change but if you look at this equation speed is equal to wavelength multiplied by frequency the velocity changes when light enters from one medium to another medium the frequency does not change so that automatically means the lambda has to change so the wavelength has to change so what happen when light travels from one medium to another the speed of the light and the wavelength change but the frequency remains constant so the wavelength also changes when one light moves from one medium to another medium so how the wavelength changes whether it becomes longer or it becomes shorter depends again on the refractive index of the mediums given by snell's law Why waste time in commute and spend a lot of money for neat UG coaching? Parents, do you want your kids to achieve top scores in neat? India's leading online neat coaching, 100% success. Meet UG. Teenstein.com. At Teenstein, we focus on neat coaching from class 6 to class 12. We think you'll like it. Our teachers are mostly PhDs in physics, maths, chemistry, botany and zoology with lots of years of teaching experience for class 6 to class 12. Thousands of videos, quiz, MCQs. We provide a daily worksheet of 30 questions on each topic: math, physics, chemistry and biology for rigorous practice, concept understanding, evaluation, quizzes and thousands of videos. Limited offer 40,000 per year. Book your class. 
www.tneinstein.com. Contact 99402 49720.